This is Twit. Okay, so on the topic of Bitwarden, um, for the past few weeks, our listeners have been sending me notes regarding their concerns that Bitwarden's licensing might have been changing to make it less open. I mean, this actually got some traction out on the internet. Um, uh, it turned out that it was a good thing that I had not found the chance then to dig into whatever was going on because it has since resolved itself completely. Now, the register weighing in with an explanation and, you know, their particular brand of snarkiness, um, I, I edited it a little bit for podcast clarity. They said, fear not. FOSS fans, you know, FOSS, F-O-S-S, free open uh, source software, Bitwarden is not going proprietary after all. The company has changed its license terms once again, but this time it has switched the license of its SDK from its own homegrown license to V3 of the GPL, just as you were saying, Leo. Yep. Yep. They wrote, the move comes just weeks after we reported that it wasn't strictly FOSS anymore. At the time, the company claimed this was just a mistake in how it packaged its software. Writing on Twitter, they they said, quote, this is Bitwarden, quoted, it seems that a packaging bug was misunderstood as something more. And the team plans to resolve it. Bitwarden remains committed to the open source licensing model in place for years, along with retaining a fully featured free version for individual users. Yay. Yay. Yep. The register said now it's followed through on this. The bit the GitHub commit entitled Improve Licensing Language, unquote, changes the licensing on the company's SDK from its own license to the unmodified GPL3. That's good. That's yep. really good. They said previously, if you removed the internal SDK, it was no longer possible to build the publicly available source code without errors. Now, the publicly available SDK is GPL3, and you can get the whole, you, you can get and build the whole thing. They said Chief Ch- Technology Officer Kyle uh, Spirin added a new comment to the discussion on bug number 11611 on GitHub, where that bug was titled Desktop Version 2024.10.0 is no longer free software. Of course, that's that's the comment that set off this firestorm. So to that, their CTO, Kyle, wrote, We've made some adjustments to how the SDK code is organized and packaged to allow you to build and run the app with only GPL OSI licenses included. The SDK internal package references in the clients now come from a new SDK internal repository, which follows the licensing model we've historically used for all of our clients. And they said cfaq.md for more info. The SDK internal reference only uses GPL licenses at this time. If the reference were to include Bitwarden license code in the future, we will provide a way to produce multiple build variants of the client, similar to what we do with Web Vault client builds. He finished the original SDK repository will be renamed to SDK Secrets and retains its existing Bitwarden SDK license structure for our Secrets Manager business products. The SDK Secrets repository and packages will no longer be referenced from the client apps since that code is not used there. So, you know, they cleaned things up and and, and fixed what was essentially just sort of a, a, a trip in this you know, what has obviously become a rather complex build process with multiple overlapping licenses and things. So the register finished saying this is generally good news for the program's more fervently FOSS focused fans. It's all open source and it's possible to build the whole thing, including the SDK from freely available code. It seems to us that Bitwarden has responded to its users' unhappiness with the changes to the licensing around its password manager and has not merely undone the changes but gone further toward making it all free software, 
even if it continues to maintain that it was all just an error. The change is commendable, and we're glad to see it. It does, however, look as if the company is leaving itself room to build more non-FOSS tools in the future. You know, fine. So what? Anyway, so I think the whole thing here, everything that we've just seen is that, I mean, it's it's what free and open source software is about. It's a terrific example of community action, which helped to bring some clarification to some initial confusion over Bitwarden's licensing terms. And to their credit, as the register reported, Bitwarden really stepped up and did the right thing. So props. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security Now.